In South Korea, there's been a lot of protests where dog meat farmers are taken to the streets in retaliation to a proposed dog meat ban. South Korea plans to ban the consumption of dog meat by 2027. The Korean Dog Meat Association says it wants dog meat farming to be treated like any other livestock farming and believe that the ban would infringe on the rights of the farmers and consumers. They're protesting hard for their right to kill these dogs. So here we go, we've got some vegan activists here. Go vegan, they're saying. Fantastic. Now, if any meat eaters are watching this, I would like you to take a real hard look at this. Do you support the dog meat farmers in this situation or do you support the activists who are opposed to the dog meat farming? Think about it. If you support dog meat farmers, I guess you've got some consistency there, which I would still oppose. But if you support the activists in this situation and not in a situation where they're farming pigs, cows, chickens, fish, then you have a complete and utter double standard. And I hope you see where we're coming from when farmers and restaurateurs go, oh, but they're gonna ruin our industry. And we say, well, the animals' rights matter more then your right to murder them and sell their bodies. The animal context doesn't do it for you? Think of a context where humans are commodities. Imagine a bunch of child sex slavers going, yeah, but what about our industry? And what about, what, would I, what am I gonna do? I need to make money. Need, what about our freedom to choose? You know, you're gonna say, you're a psychopath. Leave those children alone. Get another job. Find another way to make money. This guy here is from the Korean Dog Meat Association. Just listen to what he's saying. Taking away individuals' rights to eat is a crime and violence. Therefore, we'll fight to protect people's rights to eat and ensure the survival of the dog meat industry and its workers. They're fighting for their right to commodify dogs in order to sell their bodies. But they're framing this as a human freedom issue. And we see this all the time when we're fighting for the rights of pigs or chickens or cows. The farmers will come out and say, we've got the right to eat what we want. What about the poor farmers? The vegans are trying to take away our freedoms, all whilst taking away the freedoms of other sentient beings. It's like slavers saying, taking away our slaves is taking away our rights to own slaves. Not thinking about the freedom of the slave themselves. I will fight until I die. Oh wow, so passionate. If only you were as passionate about the lives of animals as you are about killing them. A poll conducted last year said nearly two thirds of respondents opposed consuming dog meat. So I don't hear all this crap about, oh, people in South Korea eat dogs. Some people do. The majority are against the practice, so it's kind of racist to assume that all South Koreans want to eat dogs. But let's keep going in this video. There it is, some healthy, protein-rich, iron-rich, B12-rich dog meat. Look at these, look how humane this is. Look how well they're treated. Look how much these dog meat farmers love their animals. I can't agree with the idea it's barbaric because all countries that have the tradition of animal husbandry have at some point eating dogs. And there are still countries where it's done. So therefore it's completely justified, hey? It is barbaric. And other countries are complete and utter hypocrites if they've got a problem. It's great that people oppose the eating of dogs, but if you're opposing the eating of dogs with the same mouth you chew the dead bodies of chickens and cows and fish, you are a hypocrite and you have to understand that. Just because these animals like pigs and cows and chickens have been bred for the purpose of food, that does not morally justify it. Don't believe me? Just ask the dog meat farmers in South Korea who breed these dogs for the purpose of food. Does that justify dog meat consumption? Obviously and utterly not. So let's keep going. Here's a restaurant owner. If I have to close my business, I've tried to think about my life with the financial condition I'm in. There's really no answer to what I can do. I'm already in a very difficult situation and it's gonna make things worse. Activists keep making complaints. I don't know how to cope. In light of what's happening to the non-human animals, boo-hoo, get another job. If you're savvy enough to own a restaurant, then you're savvy enough to cook some tofu. People think, oh, well, this is the only thing they can do. They're in such a hard circumstance and they can't do anything else except decapitate dogs. Yes, you can. And those dogs' rights matter more than your emotions. Stop making yourself the victim and same with the farmers in the UK and farmers in Australia oh but we love our animals you love animals the way Jeffrey Dahmer loved his victims you don't love animals you love selling their bodies for money and you love eating their desecrated remains newsflash you hashtag are not the victim listen to this and then you'll see like a direct parallel here eating dog meat cannot be a crime like trafficking drugs or prostitution have you ever heard of anyone whose dog meat consumption caused harm to others uh, yeah the dogs Another dog meat restaurant owner says, if they try to ban the food that people have eaten for a long time, that is a wrong kind of law. A law that takes away the freedom to choose what we eat. So if we've done it for a long time, it becomes wrong to call that thing immoral and to abolish it. Man, I can think back in history to a few things that we've done for a long time that were completely immoral. The argument we should have the freedom to choose what we eat would be fine if we were talking about things, but we're not talking about things, are we? We're talking about a who. Should you have the freedom to choose who you eat? No. You shouldn't. Otherwise, I should have the freedom to eat you. Freedom to choose is fine so long as you're not infringing on the rights and freedoms of others, right? That's how freedom works. South Korea's ruling Conservative People Power Party put forth a bill suggesting max penalty of five years imprisonment or fines of 50 million won, which is 30,000 pounds, for individuals engaging in the dog meat trade. Very good. Is five years enough? I think it should be 25 years, to be honest. Why not? Like, if you killed a child, it's 25 years. 
So due of the Korean Dog Meat Farmers Association threatened a group would release 2 million dogs into the capitals. Maybe they must really care about these dogs, eh? Well, we'll just release them all. They probably get run over by cars, die of starvation in order to prove your point. As I mentioned before, the, the public are on side with the proposed ban in South Korea. Let's look at some of the comments and see if we can find some South Korean anti-dog meat eating pro-chicken eating hypocrites. So here we go. I would love to applaud the Korean government for this long overdue ruling. Koreans must find another way to survive on other meats besides dogs. <laughs> you don't... <laughs> Come on, man. We're going so well, Gabby, for one sentence. It's a disgusting trade of these poor helpless animals. Well, the ones in the cages looked all right, didn't they? Why can't we decapitate those dogs? Oh, that's right, because humane slaughter is a myth and it's wrong no matter how you treat the animals. You don't need dog meat to survive. Great, you don't need any meat to survive. Raise chickens instead. You're almost a vegan activist if your solution wasn't to murder other animals. Is the dictionary definition of speciesism completely predicated upon this quote by you, Gabby? This is just blatant, isn't it? Don't back down, proceed and conquer. The rest of the world is waiting. Praise God for putting an end to these centuries old animal abuse and cruelty. How can you be so opposed to animal abuse and cruelty? And then give him chickens as a solution to eat, of which they already slaughter millions of them, probably a billion. Chickens are the most abused land animal on earth. But that's your solution. In the mind of the speciesist, one dog is too many but the amount of chickens to be killed is never enough. Julie says, it's awful that people would eat dogs and cats, but for me, it's not that they even eat them, it's how they treat them before they die that repulses me. Okay, so if, if I treat you nicely, Julie, then I'm sure last dinner date, then I can just put you on the table for another dinner date. How about that? Like I, I've seen how they hit them on the head with a wooden stick and some even skin them alive, just horrifying. Yes, that is horrifying. But what if they would just walk up behind them and shoot them in the back of the head and cut their head off? Would that be humane? If so, would you like it done to you? No? Then what's with the double standard? Kimberly Johnson says, disgusting to eat dog shame. There's absolutely zero respect to eat domesticated pets. Come on, South Korea, get out of this abusive tradition. It's not becoming of these types of sufferings for such intelligent animals as man's best friend. Shame. There was trying to be a Shakespeare quote there, but I don't know what the hell happened there at the end. It's not becoming of these types of sufferings for such intelligent animals as man's best friend. Shame. Well, swing and a miss there, Kimberly. Um, I, I don't claim to be Shakespeare myself, but that was a uh, swing and a miss. You know, Shakespeare was actually opposed to eating meat, so if you were truly a Shakespearean, you would not eat animals. Ilana goes, those people eating dog meat will never live in peace and God will punish them. Can I change dog to pig? Can I change dog to chicken? Do you still agree with your own sentiments here or not? Or would you start pulling out all this nonsense excuses like everyone else does? Ellen says, yes, please ban eating dog meat, okay? Ban eating every other animal too, please. I think we should give animals rights. That, that would be my proposal. Dogs were never created for food, ever, and you will be destroyed by our creator. Joanne, God didn't want us to eat dogs. Why are they made out of meat? To call it dogs is a bit in my face, really. We should call it dog. Because I don't really like knowing that I'm eating a dog. I'd rather like hear beef, hear bacon, or hear dog. Destroyed by our creator, look, mate. Animals were put here by God for us to eat. Even you, Joanne. Even you. That's some of the comments uh, there, just poking a bit of fun at uh, people's hypocrisy. Look, the dogs are put in cages, just like the pigs are put in cages. I'm just asking for equal treatment of sentient beings. The interests of a dog not to be eaten are the same as the interests of a pig not to be eaten. I 100% support the ban of dog meat in South Korea. I think it's a good step in the right direction. But maybe they could use this ban to also ban the other meat trades. Would they still have the same public support? No, they should, but they won't, which is a shame. That's my video, what do you guys think about it? Leave your comments and thoughts down below. Leave the dogs alone, leave the cats alone, leave the animals alone, leave the pigs alone, leave all sentient beings alone, and be vegan.